guys, how are it going? This is CR Spark. We're back here in Life is Strange with episode 5, part 1. This is the last episode in the game, so let's try to make the best of it, guys. Uh, we are right now, uh, for some reason, at the junkyard. Uh, yeah, it's starting to go very chaotic and stuff. So let's jump right into it, guys, and see what we can get ourselves into. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! Whoa. Holy what shit. did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are hey, you doing too. in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly Word psychotic. Went, like, I know he has epic. something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Sorry, Kate. Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot, now! Oh yeah, we did dig her up. Oh. We found her. <gasps> Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, oh, Max, shit. look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how! What the fuck? Oh my. Why this dude? What the fuck? Extraordinarily creepy. Please go away. I liked you. What happened? What the fuck? So if I don't get copyrighted in this song, right guys? We can only hope. Okay, the ringing, the ringing can die now. Is that an umbrella? What the fuck? Oh no, it's a flasher screen thing they use for photography. I think. What in the world is happening? Like in some fucked up movie or something? Hello, Square Enix. I get it, you made the game, I think. that room before. Chloe? What? Where? It's a dark room. Oh shit. What the fuck? Can, can I please get out? Is anybody out there? Please help! I wouldn't call for attention.
Finally, I'm free. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug. If I could move it towards me. Come to me, cart. What was that? I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. What? What is Jefferson doing this? Uh, what do I do? What do I do? God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Left mouse button to focus on the photo. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh, god dang it! I hate these things, they're hard! God dang it! Tease me like this. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Creepy. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Creepy motherfucker. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. I should get Nathan's phone. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Dang. Or care. Though I promise, you. people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. 
Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Well, that was kind of weird. Maybe that was mine. Don't worry, a guys. new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Creepy. the same folder. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. Whoa, I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Good. This might work. <sighs> Please work. I, I can't escape it, shit. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my Creeper. subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days Go to fucking hell. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. 
Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. So he used Nathan? You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of shot. father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. So wait, Nathan tried to do what he was doing, but fucked up and gave her an overdose, so she died. Oh, damn. Holy shit. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you Dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally oh, get God. it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart. Okay, Polaroids are great, but motherfucker. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. This is purity personified. Uh, 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 I just looked at it, right? I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Could. I'm gonna say this once and once only. Your damn music sucks. And just get that through. This one is out of focus, but that's my fault, Max. How I'll get through to your shitty photography. God, I, I wish I 
wish you had been around back in my day. I just don't know. Oh, what a fool. Sorry. This is not art. I must have missed something. I should rewind. What did I miss? Oh, I get it now. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. Bitch. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Better than you. Okay. Back to this shit again. God dang it. thing I've ever done. Oh, I had it. What the fuck? What? I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic tradition. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever photo again. portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well... That was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, yeah, don't yeah. forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. With the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, let's Florida make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Yeah, bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Should. Found you. Okay. 
There it is. Right there, guys. Okay, let's do this. Really Gotta report a pedo. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Or worse, hopefully. The past within the past. <sighs> Am I pushing myself too hard? Probably. You kind of need to, like, touch up on that a little bit. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save... Hi, Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Hugs. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. You know, it's kind of like that time travel shit that's been going around this whole freaking thing. So, yeah. Let's get this done and over with. Okay, asshole. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Oh, Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then, I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but... Why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world Can without I fear. Stab him, please? To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh well. And thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. That's the same image. Where's this guy? Oh. Oh, they arrested Nathan too, because she killed Rachel or yeah, because he killed Rachel. Hanging out, Ben. 
Okay, when guys hang out, it's bros, but what's it called when chicks hang out? No one tells me these things. Whoa! I'm on a fucking plane, what the fuck? I'm not in war thunder. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. I'm on a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. Yeah, I... I saved her. I did it. Fifth time or seventh? I fixed everything. Wow, sir. And back to the weird pronouns. Well then. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Oh yeah. Finally, that's still a thing, the double moon. That's weird. I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Right, since there's a uh, weird colors going on in the background, but hey. Please shut up. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Uh, I don't see my name in there. Your Whatever. Phone, sir. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but. I'm so excited to fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I would figure San Francisco would be close to Washington. Can I, can I still mess with time? Do nope. you mind not whistling? Do you mind not talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Nice tie. Was it guitars? Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. You're starting to hurt yourself there. Okay, that was kind of weird.
Oh shit, I'm in an art gallery. photography pictures. Well, no. Looks like it's multiples, but mostly photography. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Sure. Work the room. I don't know. I'm, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell. I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Sure. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Good. Okay, guys. Bowser Max, you did it. Somehow, I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. Life is strange. Okay, guys, um, that is it for part one, and until then, I will catch you on the next one, and if you want to see more in the future, please leave a like and subscribe, and yeah, also, I do have a Twitter, so check that out down below if you have Twitter, and it should be all good, and until then, I'll catch you on the next one. See y'all.